Hello, this is James Durheim. I'm the owner of European Focus. And I'm going to take you on a tour of Schwarzenau, Germany. The origin of your brethren ancestors who left this area in the early 1700s for new lives in the colonies. These are my guides, Otto and his daughter Carolina. And they are going to help me to explain to you the significance of Schwarzenau. That's where Otto lives. It's a landmark in itself, 300 years old. And the Eder River, which flows peacefully through this valley of the Obera Hutental. As Otto explained to me, the Eder would have been used by the brethren for their baptism ceremonies. We are walking in the direction of a large uh, horse barn that was used in 2008 to host 800 people who came for the 300th anniversary year of the founding of the Brethren Movement in this part of Germany. And that manor house was built uh, actually a little bit later on, 1788, but on the foundation of an older house. This is a plaque that was placed in 2008 on that 300th anniversary. And it's on the wall of the manor house facing the Eder River. Otto called ahead and got permission from the people who own the property that we could walk through the manor grounds. And uh, this is a on the front of the manor showing the date of construction. This barn on the manor property is actually older, would have been there in the early 1700s, as would have this house and uh, barn complex where Otto was proud to show me one of the only examples of an open hearth fireplace in this entire region. And there it is. Would have heated this room, provided a place for cooking, and a view of that farm from the outside. Chestnut tree, and again the manor house, and the garden area between the manor house and that old farm I just showed you. We walked across the uh, bridge and went to um, the other side of Schwarzenau. Evidently this inn was used to host many Americans who visited this region because of ancestry. That's an old bakehouse. And across from the bakehouse, an old mill, more than 300 years old. And the mill race. We then ascended up into the hills, up into the region where uh, the, um, the brethren really got their start. And as Otto explained to me, he thought it was amazing that such deep thinkers came from such a simple place. And inside the museum are some old pictures of the valley and the hills. This is a resident list from 1719. And some figures with some typical clothing of the brethren donated by people in America. This is the famous Sauer Bible printed in the colonies in 1776. It was the first German language Bible printed in the colonies. And some tools for making things from flax. This is a banner from 1909 hanging in the museum. Would have been used for parades. And an old black and white photograph of that mill I showed you earlier from about a hundred years ago. Contrasted with today and a couple of friendly Shetland ponies. This region is uh, full of slate and it's used to cover houses, both on the sides as well as the roofs. And this house was just outside of Schwarzenau. Back in the Heimat Museum, examples of cookware, an open fireplace, kitchen tools, and also showing you the method of construction of a Fachwerkhaus, 
with the mud and wattle and sticks used between the oak timbers. These are Christmas cards sent back to uh, Schwarzenau by members, uh, descendants of the Brethren. Some materials written in English about Schwarzenau, a model of the ship that was used to transport them to the colonies, and a cup used on the, on the voyage across the Atlantic. And one last image of Otto and his daughter Carolina outside the museum. The church in Schwarzenau was built relatively late uh, in the Prussian era. Up until then, they had no church of their own. The school was built in 1956, cost 160,000 Deutschmarks, of which one third was donated by people in America. Sadly, the school is no longer used and it's in a state of disrepair. And finally, to wrap up the visit, some views of the beautiful countryside around Schwarzenau. I appreciate this opportunity to show you the region where your ancestors came from in Germany. I wish you all the best. Auf Wiedersehen.